Hello and welcome to the world of bizarre x-rays and welcome back to quickmedic.net. The first thing to uh, do for this video is highlight radiopedia.org. Radiopedia's mission is to create the best radiology reference the world has ever seen and to make it available for free forever for all. It's a wonderful website. There's over 44,000 cases, over 15,000 articles with everything you could ever need as an experienced radiologist or radiographer, um, let alone a medical student. There's absolutely tons of stuff within it. There's tons of videos, tons of x-rays, so give it a look because this is where all of our cases are coming from in this free, open, online, um, accessible environment. Why not start with uh, one of our most bizarre x-rays then, with a uh, patient with a stiletto right through uh, what seems to be their orbit. Now, you'll see down here, this is where the case authors are every time, so just highlighting that in the bottom right-hand corner, you can type the RID into Radiopedia to see these at any time. But this is quite clearly somebody with a shoe through their eye. And you can see a a um, more direct view. These are scouting views. You can see they're sort of vague x-rays. You can sort of see a lot of, um, there's a lot of fatty tissue around the face here. Um, there's a lot of tissue in general. You can actually start to see the trachea, the ribs, clavicles and everything down here. But you can also see the massive outprint of this shoe. You can see the pins that are used to put the shoe together. And you can see the metal part of the stiletto that is uh, showing up more opaque in this x-ray. You can also see the residual elements of the patient's hair and um, etc. Et but back to this view, you can see uh, this is a pretty concerning x-ray. You probably would have been very worried if this person had shown up um, in the emergency department. So the obvious request for a CT then came forward uh, where uh, you can quantify the damage done by any uh, inserted foreign bodies or any traumatic incident more clearly. So you can actually see if we scroll up the, the external element of the shoe coming through the orbit and you can see it sort of goes around the eye of the globe the globe is here this is a bone window this is a bone window um of the ct so it'll only show up bone very well we'll look at the um other axial contrast window in a minute but you can see the these are the paranasal sinuses as well you can see the way the air spaces in here black is air and anything more uh, solid goes whiter and in ct the degree of grey on a on a CT is called Hounsfield units. But moving forward, you can see this stiletto coming through the globe, around the globe here and down. And you can see this lack of continuity in comparison to the opposite side here. And that would indicate uh, that the um, there's a left, this is the left-hand side. You can see right is denoted over here. So the left maxillary sinus, which is here, these are the maxillary sinuses on either side of your of your cheeks. And you can see that there's a left infraorbital canal, orbital floor and posterior wall of the left maxillary sinus is fractured along with a left maxillary uh, hemosinus, which means there's blood in the sinus. Uh, this is due to the impaled boot high heeled metal rod uh, coming through the left orbit medial, medially um, in the inferior quadrant of the eye. Uh, there's quite a lot of streak artifacts. See this uh, sun, sunshine appearance, like it's a bright light sort of causing this streak here. That uh, can make it difficult to assess the, the, um, the cylindrical aspect of the globe in this picture, which is why um, you would maybe do another view so for example this is an axial non-contrast scan and you can see there's still a lot of streak artifact but going from the very top again you can see that there's um there's still a lot of that str that streak artifact which makes it very difficult to see whether this is this is your eye there's the eye lid over it this is the eye here but it's very hard to see uh there's a bit of rotation in the ct scan but it's very difficult to see whether there is actually damage to this structure there's actually perforation of the globe or the uh, rectus muscles that surround it so it's difficult to see but uh, this would certainly be uh, bizarre depending on the angle of the shoe you wonder is it impaled any further back and we can sort of see that there it's it's not from a, a gross look at the brain there doesn't seem to be any edema it doesn't seem to be too tight um, and I'm relying on the expert radiologist who is down here the reports that are made available on radiopedia.com um, to assess that but in general this is worth highlighting as a bizarre x-ray ultimately the feedback from this patient um, case was that they uh, had a had a good outcome the globe and the optic nerve and everything uh, was intact after their surgery to remove this but this is a good example of 
streak artifact and it's a good example of a hemosinus it shows your sinuses very well and it's just a very lucky case um of of trauma the poor person who was involved in this uh, i'm sure wasn't expecting to end their day like this in a ct scanner with a stiletto going through their um their eye socket but um it is good learning for us because it looks at some of the uh, more bizarre aspects of trauma particularly in this area of the face and in a different but yet related case you can see um another ct which is different you can see those um the um the paranasal sinuses the globes you can see the globes a lot better in this case where you can see the eyes it lands up here uh, the different densities of water here are obviously very interesting you can see the optic nerve this is an axial ct scan it's only a single image so i can't scroll through it but you can see this is mostly gas density so this is a gas density uh, with a tiny you know f fluid fill thing in the middle so this is a big pen actually a big pen that has gone through the medial aspect um, of where the globe is, just lateral to the superior orbital fissure and into the temporal lobe. Uh, there's no large hemorrhage and a small amount of gas is seen at the fracture site. So the fracture site, fracturing that um, axillary sinus area here, um, and it has gone into the temporal lobe. So this... Uh, object missed the middle cerebral artery amazingly uh, missed the globe and actually was removed under fluoroscopic guidance uh, there was brisk bleeding from the ophthalmic artery whenever it was removed but actually uh, with endovascular intervention uh, the patient's vision was i believe preserved another ct of the head now this is a bony window again so it doesn't show brain tissue very well but it does show bone very well of interest you can see the ears here on either side the um inlet canals you can see the mastoid cells here which are full of air which allows a better conduction of sound and um, the brains are just of note you can see the air opacities here of the sinuses um, um further up so as we, as as we scroll through you can start to see some abnormalities and there are multiple coming into view here there are multiple intra intracranial and subcutaneous so intracranial in the brain subcutaneous in the tissue around it uh, metallic density foreign bodies uh, with grossly displaced and comminuted fractures of the left calvarium uh, they're displaced intracranial bony uh, fragments are known so they go in and out and this is this is this is not a good actually you can see a lot of streak artifact coming off with something that is a, a dent high uh, metallic density here um so these um and you can see that there is some displacement this is a bony window as as i'm sure you appreciate there is some obviously swelling around here there's some fluid in the uh, subcutaneous tissue as well as air and this midline Tentorum has shifted slightly, you can appreciate as well. And this is a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, it's important. Um, these are bizarre, but they're also not uh, laughable matters. These these aren't, you know, to poke fun at these images. These are to show you something that would, would actually rarely be seen because um, even, even as a practicing doctor, I can't really... Um, count the number of times i've seen a fully enacted ct this is in the uk of course uh ct of somebody's head with a gunshot wound in it so it's actually useful and educational to be able to see something with metallic density there's a gunshot wound here and this comminuted uh, extensively comminuted fracture uh, the subcutaneous damage as well so it is worth highlighting that these um, images do exist out there so the information of this case has come from the author but said that this was a deliberate self-harm attempt uh, where the patient fired via nail gun one nail into their head and whenever they remained conscious they fired another one with the second one there was a loss of consciousness so this is actually a good clinical case because uh, you're going to be looking at these thinking which nail uh, was fired that caused that lo um, loss of consciousness when the first one did not of note here you can see the bony um size of the face with the orbits um this is filling residual the teeth are obviously intact and you can see the um the tissue in outline on the scout view um of the ct but this is actually just an x-ray it's not a scout view it's just giving a good look through um the patient's skull and as with most things uh, you would be looking for a different view so a lateral view was obtained and you can truly see the the extent um of 
of the um of the penetration of these injuries here so there's obviously been uh one nail gone in and the second nail has gone in um and gone right to the back because it's a nail gone under pressure and this is actually incredibly important um to highlight why a lateral view is so useful because that this view here doesn't actually tell you um the um location in space of that second nail and it now explains why um you know there is a um um, there was a loss of consciousness as potentially it's gone through uh, eloquent brain matter, for example. Um, and really, it's this this image is, is two nails projecting intracranially. And overall, it was a positive outcome for this patient who uh, survived with minor deficits, with minor neurological deficits, uh, so the author reports.